Hi, I'm Rustic Guy. Welcome to my channel. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would like to uh, join me as I make an attempt at uh, living life again. Hopefully it's going to be a good time. So today we are going to make a drink and I um, actually have not made one of these long videos in a while. I'm a little rusty so please bear with me. I think I have everything together but being the chucklehead that I am I am not entirely sure so please just bear with me. So, the actual uh, inspiration for this drink came from uh, something called a moose ball or moose balls. And uh, you may know what moose balls are or you may not. Moose balls are, ooh, this slide, moose balls are peanut butter inside covered in chocolate. And I was telling somebody about moose balls and they had no idea what the hell a moose ball was and said, oh, that sounds like a buckeye. My, after using several words that rhymed with buck and buckeye, I commented, but I'll refrain. So I just said I had never heard of a buckeye, but I heard of moose ball. So we just had a little discussion uh, regarding that. And it, um, it made me want to make a drink. And this is going to be an over-the-top drink. It's going to be hopefully an excellent dessert drink. And I'm making my dessert drink before I eat dinner because, boom, I can do that. I'm rustic guy. I could do that now. Couldn't do that before, but now I can. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by doing the garnish. And this is going to be part of the garnish. So, what I thought I would do is I'm going to split a moose ball in half. So, we're going to have a half a ball. I also got some peanut butter fudge and I got a lint ball. So, what I think I'm going to do is something like this. I'll even uh, do it on camera. Look at this. So, I'm going to take a lint ball, 60, what is it, 60%, 60% chocolate, I guess. So, this is going to be in the middle, and on lint balls, there's a nice guide, because I believe that's, oh, see if I can do this without ruining it. Oh, damn it. Ah, nice. Didn't quite come out in the center, but I'm hoping. There we go. I want to put this right in the middle. Ah, well, that's what happens. I lost part of the lint balm. That's okay. So, even though this is a big toothpick, it may, may be a little bit small. So, I'm going to cut a couple of reasonably small pieces. Ooh, you know what? This is, may not work. My fudge may not stay together. So I'm going to try to just carefully... Oh, God damn it. Well, that's not going to work. So if it's thicker, you got to be gentle. Okay. So I want to try to keep it semi-proportionate. So it seems the thicker pieces do better. So let's, I don't even know if you can see this, I'm not watching. So I'm going to gently, I'm going to try to be careful with this here on out because the fudge is brittle. I've had it a couple of weeks, so we're going to cut the moose ball in half and I'm assuming you can see that, right? Can you see that? Oh. This is me. I'm talking to myself. Okay, so there's the moose ball. Peanut butter with chocolate. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. It's not a time. So I'm hoping that's going to all stay together. Whether it does or not, I don't know. So we're going to take that there. I'm going to take another plate. This is really, I believe, the best way to do this. Whether or not it is, I don't know. I have some dark chocolate sauce, and I'm just going to just kind of spew a bunch there. Make a little pile. I'm going to take my martini glass. Now, because the freezer that I have currently uh, access to does not allow me to stand my glasses up, I'm not actually freezing my glass, but... You know, is, ideally this would be a frozen glass. So basically I'm just going to take 
and this is not cooperating of course and just kind of spin now I like to really rim it I really like to rim it so I like to kind of really go a little bit crazy with the chocolate so and then I also want it on the actual rim and I'm trying to go quick here and I should really be taking my time and I'm just a little nervous because I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to do a short version of this too. This is the long version. This is where I'm going to, you know, give amounts and really tell you how to make this. Because I believe it'll be a really good drink. So that's our rimmed, chocolate rimmed glass. This is, I may be slightly off center for some of this. This is crushed up. Peanut butter cookie. I pulverized it. See if I can keep it out of the chocolate. You can see that. And I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to just take this glass. And I'm just going to go. This is so much fun. It's really not. But um, it can be fun. You can do different things. You know, I also have... Um, uh, double chocolate chocolate chip cookies there's coconut cookie you can do all kinds of stuff with this but because we're doing a peanut butter chocolate kind of thing i'm just kind of sticking to the two basic flavors of chocolate and peanut butter um with one notable exception at the end i do like whipped cream too and we're gonna put some whipped cream on this drink so again ideally i would be taking my time and i'm not because I'm just trying to do this quick. I'm trying to do it under 10 minutes. Like I said, there'll be a shorty version too. Whether it's to music or me flapping my big old pie hole, I'm not sure yet. Okay. So, that is the glass. So we're going to take that and put it aside for now. And again, I would put it in the freezer. If my freezer allowed me to do that. So we're going to take our shaker... Shake a shake up, shake a shake up, bake up, shake up, and we are going to add some ice. I know, there we go. Now, whatever, some people don't like a lot of ice, some people do. I'm on the lot of ice camp. I like ice, I like my drinks cold, I like my beer cold, and I'm supposed to be cold. So I do use a lot of ice, and I don't always hurry when I shake it because we're putting five liquors in here or five different alcohols, and it's okay, in my opinion, for it to be slightly watered down from the ice. Some people don't like that. I do. This is where you can do it however you want. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take about an ounce and a half, and I'm going to do a four count of Screwball peanut butter whiskey, and you can use any whiskey, peanut butter whiskey you want. I just happen to be using Screwball. And that's kind of a wussy four count, but... It is kind of early. I do want to have another drink, so I don't want to go too crazy. So this is Putney Farm Simply Chocolate. It is a chocolate liqueur. Same thing. I'm going to do about a four count, which is about an ounce and a half. And again, this is an approximation. I don't get crazy with my, my uh, amounts. I just kind of wing it. This is Tennessee... Legend peanut butter cup whiskey. Same thing, four count. This, oh, look at that. See, this is not a good, oh, that's why. So, as you can see, professionalism is not what I exude. And if that's what you're looking for, you have not, you've come to the wrong place. So, let us do what I'm quite familiar with. And 